So I will be a role model for the equestrian uh, side for the show jumping and I will be there and I will support them and I will also talk with the riders. Hopefully I will uh, inspire them a little bit, talk about, um, talk about riding, talk about uh, things that can happen on the show and uh, things around horses. Uh, actually the FAI uh, nominated me and asked me and I for sure was very honored that they asked. So um, I'm really happy to go to do that. I think uh, the most important is that I can inspire them when I'm there. That I can see because all athletes are different and I think I have a quite a good uh, experience to see a little bit if I have the opportunity to talk with everyone uh, and to see and help the, each person a little bit. I think, uh, especially with the question that we can go on for a long, long time uh, in our sport, that uh, of course that um, experience are really important. But when you come to an Olympic Games, it's uh, very much mental. It's very much mental. It's the we call it the mental game. I mean, the Olympic Games are really mental. You have to be really focused and believe in what you're doing and be prepared. Because I think also with horses, it's not only the game from, from start to finish, it's uh, also, we, we live with horses, you have to know things around horses, so we will also uh, talk about the, the historic uh, part of the equestrian. So, what, then what they what they are doing? We for sure we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. For sure, because I mean, if you are a golf player or football player, you come home and you put your 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 things in, the, in into the closet and then you are finished. But with, with horses, you you live with the horses, and this is what's so fantastic about uh, the riding. Um, that you can go on for a long time and you grow as a person also with the horses. Actually right now I've just got my program so I have to next week I will learn a little bit about exact what I shall do there but I think I will be there and look at them and maybe give them some advices. I think I have two advices that I still believe in a lot. Uh, the first thing is that you should look around, uh, be open and see uh, different riders, see how they are riding, what they are doing. Put things into your library, riding library in your head and try to, to develop it into your own riding. It's really important, to, I think, that you can you see with your eyes and try to, to do it, you know. And the second advice is to also believe in, if you are a good rider, that why are you good? You have different things that you are good in and work on the good things because sometimes in the riding you work very much on the things that you are not so good at. For sure you should do that also, but you should also really much believe in the things that you are good in and try to, to develop those. Uh, first of all, the Olympics is it's a special thing because it's a very much, you, you see all these different athletes on the same time uh, and you have all this, it's a big respect for each other and also to ride for your country. It's also a very special feeling. It's, you get a very um, special feeling and it's a very, uh, how should I say, it's, it's very honored like to, to be, uh, so you're not only riding for yourself when you're in the Olympics, you ride for everyone. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. And that's what's so cool. I mean, you, you see all these different people and the different bodies and different people, but this, the respect is the same. Uh, and like I know, uh, uh, Usain Bolt will also be an athlete role model this year.
Uh, it's fantastic. I've been riding national classes and so on, but now I have a fantastic eight-year-old horse, so then I'm trying to go a little bit more, and this here in Falsterbo is my first uh, bigger international show. Me and my husband, who's also a professional rider, we uh, also do, he does a lot of uh, graphic design, so, and he's also an artist, and i am also been in art school for many years, so we are both very interested in art and uh, design. Yeah, modern art, uh, for sure, a lot of the modern art, um, photographer art uh, right now, uh, but my husband, he paints a lot with um, watercolors, and of course, it's a lot of horses. <laughs>